are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and today I am doing the update, update to <laughs> that expensive project pan. This was created by the wonderful Misty who's just pulling it out of the bag this year we're creating um, projects. They've just been fantastic one after another. Um, this is the second year that she's doing it but it's the first year that it's in collaboration with the fantastic ladies collab on facebook which is brilliant uh runs from december 28th to december 27th so i started a, a year late no i didn't well i suppose i did because i didn't do the first year i started a month late um it's year long and monthly updates but i'll be doing it probably every two months or every time i have an update I've serious progress in something because all these items none of them are usage goals they are all in for the year to see what I can get finished basically so I just choked on my own breath winning at life over here first and foremost this is too funny this is too funny this is the sculpted by amy bronze base face tan hydrating self tanning face drops for a bronzed glow in light medium don't particularly like them didn't think they were great to be honest with you and i hate to say that about an irish brand but this brand in particular i feel is overpriced for what it is anywho not why we're here i thought if you saw my last update i had used it like I think I had used it five times, but like that, those uses have been face, neck, and kind of forearm. So it was a lot of use. And it's like, this is barely moving. I'm only down to here. Okay, so I used it a further nine times, and like on the eighth time, I'm like lads, this still isn't moving. What is going on over here? Well, let me tell you what's going on over here, guys. <laughs> this is an airless pump. And Ruth is a feckin' idiot because <laughs> it goes up the way. So it always looked like I had product up here because I did, because it pushed it up. I thought, of like, when I used it on the, how many times did I use it? 15 in total. So on the 15th time, like, ah, lads, the pump is gone now. The pump is feckin' gone now. You know, getting really irate. Just opened it up and went, hang on, there's no product. And then put something in there and was like, oh, that's the thing for the earless pump. So look, the good news is it's finished. Hurrah! This is 25 euros worth. So this is my first empty from this project and I'm thrilled to bits. I was just tad unexpected and feel, felt, you know, a little bit foolish. <laughs> Into the empties it goes. Uh, next up is Oliflex, the number eight Bond Intense Moisture Mask. I've been enjoying this relatively well. Is it worth the price tag? Oh, not convinced, but um, I have used it so far 10 times in total with a use of 47.35 grams worth of product. So it's an airless pump as well. Again, another one I didn't realize at the start and I'd marked it up here, but as, it, as, it, as the usage went, I kind of caught on to this one. So that's where I started. That was the first update and that was, this is this update. So I'm, I'm chugging along nicely with it. Probably what, two to three more months worth? Two, I'd say, no, three, three more months. What does it matter? I don't know, but there you go. Hey Ruth. Um, so that is that guy. Uh, next up is one I'm really pleased with myself about because I was not, well a lot of these I wasn't using a whole lot to be honest with you. So that's why I was so happy to do this project. Um, but this one in particular wasn't getting used at all and it was quite expensive. It's 25 euros for a hand cream which to me is outrageous but I I was convinced by a YouTuber that it was the greatest thing since sliced bread and I just am not convinced that it is. No, it's not. It's not that I'm not convinced. It just isn't. But thank you to Nikki Pearson because her tip in her video about putting hand cream on the backs of your hands, so like doing it like that first and then rub it into your hand, stops your hands from getting overly greasy from hand cream. And that has changed this product for me because that was the thing. It felt like silicone on my hands. It felt like a silicone primer. It's the only way I can describe it. Um, Currently, I am on, how many uses? 68 uses, which I'm thrilled at. And my hands are doing okay. They're, they're doing fine. They're no better, no worse though than normal. Um, and I've used it, I hope you can see the marks there. So we went from here, first update, and now to here. This was uh, the chemistry brand, and apparently that's gone now. They were one of the sister brands of the Inky List, and do you know, one of the brands under the umbrella of Decium. 
or the abnormal company isn't that the oh i don't know but yeah that's that company is gone now yeah the abnormal beauty company is the umbrella company decium it's gone anyway uh and i can understand why because it wasn't great um next up is my perfume and i'm quite impressed with this one as well so if you know me at all you know that perfumes and me unfortunately have have had to separate ways a lot um so what i've been using this as i have two wardrobes i have one in the other room that's my non-seasonal clothes so for example now all my winter clothes are heading into that wardrobe and all my spring and summer clothes are coming into this wardrobe here behind me so but once a week i will spray each wardrobe i'll just go in and spray into the wardrobes and here as well and it gives my clothes a little hint of the scent without it being enough to trigger a migraine for me um so that's been working out well and i really haven't got much left i don't know if you can see because it's quite hard to see through this but i am down to here and the bottle is to um, if you can see it moving the bottle is only the base of the bottle is only to here i think maybe so i haven't much left in it um which is sad in a way because it was one of my favorites i was going to switch it out for a different one for the summer but when i have so little left i think you know what now let's just keep going let's try and get it done and um i mean it's what it's worth this is worth 68 so that would be massive towards my pannier weight to 5k which is not going the greatest i won't lie but anyway um yeah it's staying in and hopefully by next month or maybe maybe two months this might be done and that'll be like i said bittersweet um no point in just sitting here and turning to alcohol you know have to find a way to use it uh next up is the misha uh perfect cover bb cream this was a jessica braun made me buy it because she just adores it so much um and i hope you can see this was the first this is the intro this is the first update sorry the state of the nails and this is where we're at now and the reason there's such a jump is i had a foundation in team project pan i think that i've completed so now this is my focus foundation so i've really been knuckling down with this one and getting the use out of it um i have used it 27 times and i have used um I'm down to 59.19, which is 12.39 grams worth of product. That's two and a half times more than my last update. So it's really picked up the pace on that one. How long more? See, that well is always, you know, there's a lot of product in there. But because it's a, a pump as well, it does suck it out. Maybe, again, maybe two to three months, maybe, on that one. We shall see. One that is going nowhere fast. Oh, I used to love that sound. Don't sing, because you frighten everyone away. Uh, this is the Pat McGrath lip gloss. Um, why didn't you write it down with? Because you can't fucking see it. Paraphernalia lip gloss. Lust. I don't know. It's a gloss. All right, it's a gloss. I had it marked here when I in the intro it's so hard to see i had it lying aside uh by mistake and there did seem to be windowing kind of happening but i just don't know guys i just don't know like you can see a little bit there i don't know it's a very thick uh gloss i have used this 10 times in total not great um only down 0.19 grams it is what i have on my lips today over a lip liner it is pretty i don't know why i don't wear it more there's just something about it that i'm like mm. is it thick no it's not too thick i don't know there's no logical reason for me not wearing it maybe because it was more winter time and i see this more as a spring shade maybe that was it so hopefully in the spring summer now i get more use out of it fingers crossed um Next up is the Marc Jacobs lipstick. And this is what we are looking like. It's a little mini. Uh, very pretty shade. I really enjoy it. I have used it 18 times and I double it up as a, I have it on today as a cream blush. And I really enjoy it as a cream blush actually. And it's quite nice as a lipstick as well. I enjoy it as both. I um, don't know if you can see the inside there that it is moving down slowly but surely. It's slower than I would have liked because I used it a lot this month. So I thought, oh, we have loads of progress. We don't. Um, so yeah, I've used, what did I say, 0.24 grams of product. So it stays the same as last month, but I've used it. So I only used it six times last month and I've used it 12 times. So double the amount of times this month. But I'm still only down 0.12 grams. 
je don't know what is going on there and the last item in this project is my hourglass ambient lighting palette i'll show you the back of it because it's not as, as glary as the front the front is just like a a mirror um i have used this 36 times to date now i won't lie predominantly it has been this shade here that is getting a lot of the use i love that shade for under my eyes there's quite a dip in it hopefully i'll have pictures up god willing you never know with me um so that you can kind of see mm. That they're flattened out a bit these ones are definitely more flattened out than the the blush and bronzers yeah you can't really see anywho i have used it what did i say 36 times and 0.58 worth of product has been used so not a whole lot but my goal with this is actually i'm seriously considering this being the only palette that i bring to france with me on my holidays and even using it as eyeshadow and everything you know just putting this in the crease and um one of the other shades on the lid i won't be doing a whole lot of makeup on holidays um i like to keep it fairly simple because i like to just be getting out and about um so yeah i think i think i'll be bringing it on holidays and using it in that way and hopefully i'll have a good bit of use on it the next time i see it and that is it how are you getting on with this project is it working out for you is it not i'm i feel some products like that okay the hair mask the hand cream and the foundation and even the perfume are really trugging along trugging along chugging or chugging we don't know we'll say trugging we combine the two like brangelina um but yeah i'm doing i'm doing okay i'm doing okay i'm happy with those the glass on the other hand oh that's just really i think it's hard because i can't see through it so i don't know am i doing great am i doing awful like i can see an air bubble now when i shine the light through it and it's right down like there's a gap right here i don't know if you can see it can you see it but i have a feeling that once the product settles again it'll just drop back down again i don't know i find it a bit demoralizing when you can't see how you're getting on with stuff but yeah that's it for today's video guys i really hope you enjoyed it and hopefully i'll chat to you in the next one take care oh hang on before i go oh my god because i will be putting this up on the 29th happy birthday misty yay if i was really good at editing i'd have streamers and poppers and everything going off yay happy birthday misty <laughs> but yeah i'll chat to you in the next one guys take care bye sloan